Welcome back to Long Island. Go RVing on the road. We uh, jump in our wheels and head just a little bit west. New Jersey, North Brunswick, New Jersey for our final Denny's event of the year. It's the 65th Denny's U.S. Open special time next Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, live on ESPN. Uh, welcome back to the Geico Classic, the Easter Geico in the house. That's no Easter Bunny, sir. No, it's not. I, he doesn't deliver candy. He delivers good rates on car insurance. Love it. <laughs> so Walter Ray Williams Jr., the four seed, moves on to take on Tommy Jones, our three seed. And Walter Ray will start us off. 238, 216 winner over West Milan. Now, Walter Ray was working off of five consecutive strikes. That's how he <laughs> concluded match number one. And he leaves the 10 pin. That's the third time he's done that today. Did you did you miss something in the uh, that second strike in the 10th? I don't have to say it every time, do I? That's why we have our fans out here to hold the signs. But I promise you, Randy, I will... I will, I, will, uh, I will up my hand bone game. Rob, you were a hand boneless in match number one, just so you know. <laughs> There's Tommy Jones, native of Simpsonville, South Carolina, 11 tour titles, including one this year. He won back on January 6th, the ConstructionJobs.com championships out in Reno, Nevada. And that 10 escapes a nasty knockdown. And with his win earlier this season in Reno, Tommy Jones became just the second player to have won on all five of the named patterns, joining Mika Koivuniemi. It just shows you how well-rounded his game is. Jones actually won his fourth career title here at this venue in the 04-05 season. Last time we saw him on television, didn't go so well for him. El Paso, Texas, worst game of his 39-game TV career. He lost 241 to 158 to Chris Barnes. It was one of those, mama told me there'd be days like these <laughs> days. Snaps in for a strike. That hit the kids really hard. Walter Ray off a nine spare here in the second. There's a strike from the Hall of Famer as we take a look at our Motel 6 matchup, the number three versus the number four seeds. Jones taking on Walter Ray Williams Jr. And Walter Ray very much in the thick of the player of the year race, sitting second right now. Comes in third today, and he will tie Chris Barnes. I think we ought to give a congrats to Tommy Jones, who went over a million dollars in career earnings this week. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. Back to back, Jack. For Walter Ray. He was asking for the carry and he got a little bit. And now Jones, as you mentioned, this week became the PBA's 39th millionaire. We asked him about it, you know, how memorable it was. He said, I, I, I didn't know that it happened. <laughs> Punches down another 10 pins. Tommy Jones flirting with the outside part of the lane. That big high backswing creates a lot of ball speed. And look at that angle of attack. When we talked to Tommy last night, I said, Tommy, how'd you play the lanes this week? He said, well, I threw it really hard. He said, Randy, this is the most hook I've ever seen on tour. And keep in mind, Tommy's only been on tour since 2000. You know, back in my day, and Walter Ray, Walter Ray backed me up on this. He said, if Tommy thinks this was a lot of hook, he should have bowled back in the 80s. Two different bowling generations meeting here in Long Island. 
Make it three in a row for Jones. He is punishing those picks. Tommy Jones back in Tulsa, 05 06 season on this very cheetah pattern, almost bowled 300. He throws a lot of strikes on this pattern, likes this pattern. Right now, he's trying to take down the greatest ever. Walter Ray leaves the 10. He's had problems with that 10 today. Perfect for a ring and 10. He did no bowling during the week off on the tour. His response to that, I've been bowling well. If that ruins your game, you're in trouble. He said the biggest problem, and this, this is the first I'd heard of that, would be the size of his thumb due to the swelling that occurs when you're constantly rolling the rock. Take a break from it, swelling goes down. What was your response to the, uh, the swelling of the thumb? You could never take time off, right? Yeah, I, I mean, when I was a full-time player, I had to bowl six days a week. If I took two weeks off, it was like I'd come back to the lanes. It was like I, I never bowled before. 3rd strike of the match for Walter Ray. That coming off the spare. Give you some numbers here from Ebonite Digitrax. Tommy Jones is some eight boards left at the arrows, but his break point is actually further right than Walter Ray's. Both players throwing it pretty fast, right around 20 miles an hour. I'm taking off my jacket. Tommy Jones has an opportunity for a four-bagger. <laughs> There's another term for it, I believe. Hambone! Show me those signs, Strong Island. <laughs> you see the Easter Bunny loves Hambone? <laughs> oh, man. We have some, some anti-Hambone fans in the house. Uh, good stuff, my friend, good stuff. The 0102 Rookie of the Year looking for a five bagger. Yeah, let's go! Uh, Jones cooking with fire, looking to become the only bowler to have won at least two titles in each of the last four seasons. He's 